so I'm riding around my neighborhood. I'm probably going to see a lot of piles like this of branches and brush that came down during the storm. Ooh, it is beautiful and breezy here. Yeah, this person lost a big section of their fence, but it doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> Looks like uh, right around the corner, boarded up. They have not unboarded yet. The dog bar is pretty battened down. Looks like a lot of their doors are hurricane type garage doors. My friend Patty at Pieces of a Dream, it looks like she boarded up. Just lots of debris in the road from the trees. My friends at Bandit Coffee are open, giving coffee to the neighborhood right after the storm. I love them. So just, just so you know, what happened in Port Charlotte, Florida was supposed to happen right here in St. Pete. And as I'm showing you, it would have looked a lot different. These oaks are actually so beautiful, but they do have a tendency to drop a lot of branches uh, because their branches really spread out wide horizontally. So I can see some down there on the side of the street. Whoops. Whoops. I'm getting crazy over here. I think that might be an electric company vehicle right there. I also think I hear a generator behind me. So keep in mind, my neighborhood is kind of a wealthier one. So I'm not seeing a lot of whole trees down yet. And it's probably because they had the resources to um, get it taken care of right away. Oh, gonna back up for this electric, electric company vehicle. So to give some perspective, there were wind gusts up to 75 miles an hour for this, and probably the majority of the damage happened right near the water. I'm five miles, actually 6.7 miles from the water. So, you know, I'm sure there were some downed trees in my neighborhood yesterday, but it looks like they did a really amazing job of getting rid of them. So here's something going on here. It looks like with electricity, or I think they might be in a manhole. I don't know, but something's going on down there. They're trying to fix something. Well, this used to be some big dead tree that must have come down in their backyard because I don't see anything here. And these people boarded up their house. I mean, a lot of these people might have boarded up their house and already taken it off. Yeah, these guys lost some pretty big pieces of tree, but oh shit, it did fall on their car. Wait, how's that even possible? Their car must have been parked around back because there's no tree above this car, but this car clearly was smushed by a giant branch. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Oh wait, there is a, yep, there's a stalk of a tree right there. Oh, that's too bad, that sucks. There seems to be lots of piles on this street. There's a pile back there. There's a pile there. That could be part of it. It's really hard to tell. There's a pile over there. So, oh, I hope it didn't fall on their truck over there. Can't really tell. Um, I'm sure the wind whipped through certain places. I can feel it on me right now more than others. But I, my neighborhood does have a lot of trees. They're beautiful. There's a big one right there. They're beautiful when they're not falling on your house or your car, which most of the time they aren't. <laughs> Looks like they lost some big pieces of that tree right there. I don't even know what kind of tree that is, but lost a bunch of pieces of it. I haven't seen any trees that have fallen right over yet. I, there were some I've seen in photos, but um, apparently the ground has been wet and a tree will just fall right over and bring up the grass with it. Well, this one looks like it might have fallen over. I honestly can't really tell. This just looks like the top of a tree, but 
uh, it's definitely not supposed to be in the road like that. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to this poor tree, but I don't think it's going to make it, which is too bad because it's got these beautiful white flowers on it. But it looks like it's not in the ground anymore. So that's too bad.